with your mark, uh, with your uh, bidding here today, the marketing agents you've met throughout the campaign, both Mark, Stephen, and also we've got Ryan from the office to here to help you with your competition. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions regarding the property, the paperwork, or some technical advice with your bidding, they are here to help. Now, first I draw attention to is the contract sale, which has been made available to you prior to today's auction and on display for the last 30 minutes. Very straightforward auction contract, two parts of it. The particular sale, uh, the vandal statement, which is more commonly known as a section 32, uh, along with the auction rules, form the framework of your competition here today. All the relevant information you need to know in terms of becoming uh, the new owner of this property is right here in this contract. So the particular sale rest is follow. The marketing agent for only here today is Rewire Real Estate and property we sell is commonly known to you and I, your neighbors, your postman, and your Uber East delivery driver as unit two number 24 here in um, Highfield Avenue. In Mulgrave, we sell and auction conditions today. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are the successful purchaser, at the end of the auction here today, we're gonna need two things from you. One, is your autograph on the dots line in the contract sale? Two, is 10% equivalent to the purchase price as your deposit. Of course, unless you made other arrangements with the marketing team, and that's the amount that we require. Uh, I understand not everyone has a checkbook anymore. If you do, simply write a check payable to rewrite real estate. Otherwise, we need you to transfer no less than $20,000 to our trust account upon signing the contract here today. Settlement is flexible, 30, 60, or 90 days, of course. Like I said, unless you made other arrangements with the marketing team before the commence of today's auction. The contract you're signing will be unconditional. There is no cooling off period. Now, as your auctioneer, it's my duty and responsibility to ensure today's auction is conducted in accordance with the rules or any auditioning conditions that's made available for inspection prior to today's auction. The rules previous bit of a truck prevent others from bidding, false bidding, major disruptions by bidders, and there are fines for these conducts. Bidders will be indicated upon request by me as the auctioneer. The rules permit vendor bids and terms I will use to indicate I'm making a bid on behalf of the vendor will be simply vendor bid. And by law, only I as the auctioneer here today can make a vendor bid. And lastly, buyers, if you want to be the one assigning one of these in the next 15, 20 minutes time, please make sure you're paying particular attention to the next two rules because they are crucial for your success here today. One. By law, as the auctioneer, I cannot accept any bids or offers that's made after a declared property sold. So before I knock it down to the successful purchaser here today, I'll simply call out three times, like so. First call, second call, third and final call, and once the property has been knocked down, I can't take any more bids. And lastly, our owner has a reserve price. In the event, if we fall short of that reserve, by law, only the last bidder will have that first opportunity to buy this property at the owner's reserve. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again here at number 24 Highfield Avenue in Mulgrave. What are you purchasing here today? It's not something we come across on a daily basis. Only short of seven years young, single story, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Now, if you look at a whole entire postcode, or even in a whole city of a Monash, this is something that becomes rare and rare. There's more something like a double stories when it comes to a low maintenance lifestyle, but yet at the same time, you don't want to compromise on the space or the location. Like I said, almost there three bedrooms, two bathrooms in a location and everything in this particular pocket of Mulgrave is own is pretty much right here on your doorstep. Highfield Avenue is almost a dead end street, so there's no through traffic. But yet, Springvale Homemaker Center, Springvale Junction Shopping Center for your daily grocery shopping or pick up your furniture right after the auction, it's right there. It's only minutes minister drive away. And trust me, I've just recently moved. Picking up furniture is probably not as easy as you thought. It's probably harder than selecting the right house to buy. But at least if you the purchaser here today, that's one problem that you'll have, or one thing less to worry about. Like I said, at 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning, first auction of the day, you can have the rest of the Saturday back, or even all your Saturday back, instead of a select, uh, scheduling your Saturday according to the calendar of a real estate agent from today onwards. So, who's gonna do that, ladies and gentlemen? Here we're gonna find out, Unit 2 at 24, in Highfield Avenue in Mulgrave, a fair, reasonable, even-handed bid. Let's get the auction on the way. Come 
by the way. That's my call for opening me. <laughs> the incoming sailing range starts from 780, so somewhere with a 70 in the front, probably. I don't mind where we start. It matters where we end. So you start where you're comfortable, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in your hands. 750. 750. A 750. Welcome to you, sir. $750,000. Let's call him $20,000 rise from this point. I think that's only fair. At 750, your call, sir. You are closer to the door. Do I allow you to have it now? At 750, three quarter million. That's the opening bid. At 750, off guard. At $750,000. Who's going to say? 780. 780. Even better. 780. Welcome to you. Strong bid in there. At 780 against you, sir. Run me up. Call it 800. At 780,000. Dollars with them over there to your left, and that's your competition. At seven hundred eighty thousand dollars lower, and everything indicating selling range, ladies and gentlemen, that should be seeing hands at this level. At seven eighty is the call. At seven hundred eighty thousand dollars against your opening bidder, more to welcome, of course. What do you say, sir? At seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars, take me to eight. At seven hundred eighty is the bit now. At seven hundred eighty thousand dollars, they've got the keys. At seven hundred eighty thousand, what would you like to do? At seven hundred eighty thousand dollars, are we done? Let's go. At seven hundred eighty thousand dollars, chasing the number eight hundred. That's where you want to be. At seven hundred eighty thousand dollars. This with them. 800, welcome back, sir. At $800,000, what do you say, sir? Ma'am, and 800,000 opening bidder. They are holding the key now. At $800,000, that's the winning bid. Will you take a 10? Okay, I'll take 10, you ask nicely. There you go, 810. Same opportunity offering to you there. And 810 is the bid. And 810, what do you say, sir? Call it 820. And $810,000, this is it. What do you want to do? With 810 more to welcome, of course, ladies and gentlemen. And 810 thousand dollars. Are we done? First call. At 810 thousand dollars. Ten or better bid against you, there. Opening bidder. At 810, what would you like to do? At 810 thousand dollars, be there second time. Are we done? At 810 thousand dollars. Got 820. Yes, ma'am. 820. 820, welcome to you there, 820. And $820,000. What do you want to do, ma'am, sir? 820, I've got her there. And $820,000, new competition to your left, also opening bidder. And $820,000, bids there now. And 820, and $820,000, what would you like to do? Call her 830, and 820, I've got. And 820,000, first time. Are we done? And $820,000. Second. Anyway, take 5,000. Not yet. I haven't got the permission to take five yet. Go to 10. 820 is the bid. I'll take 830. 820,000. Beast there. 30. 30. Welcome to you there. To 830 and against you. What do you say? And $830,000. Quarter 40. Gotta be strong. Be quick. Flex your auction muscle to $830,000. That's the winning bid. Also here, and here opening bid are $830,000. What would you like to do? $830,000 counting west now. $830,000. Twice here. Are we on the market? Not yet, sir. It doesn't matter. You don't hold the highest bid. $830,000. Next bit, maybe. For the third and final call, 800. A 40. Welcome back at 840 and $840,000. You say. A 50? At 840. They're relaxed, they're confident, they also determined. So should you and I, $840,000. Are we all done first time? At 840. Second call! At $840,000. All done. It all finished. All silent. At $840,000. 5000 right, I'll take the 
45 at 8.45. Same opportunity, you take me to 50 sir, at 8.45. Five or better bits. 8.50, welcome back. Cuffed and bidding there, boy. 8.50. Yeah, 55, straight back, 8.55. 60. 60. 60, I'm an honest 60. 860,000, that's the winning bid. What do you like to do? I'll give you a moment to think about it, no pressure. 860,000, I'll count it three times. Once, twice, three times. $860,000. How are we all done? Danny? Yes? What's coming? You heard him in $860,000. Place the keep now to 860. $860,000. No more advancing with 60 65. selling. 65. Welcome back. 70, sir. 70. 70. Straight back. 870. At 870,000 around the market now. At 870,000. Are we all done? First one. At 870,000. 75. 75. 80? 80. 80. Is the fire still working? 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. Thank you for bidding here today, also here. Thank you for bidding here tonight. Looks like in between you two now, 880,000. That's the winning bid. What would you like to do? I'll stack you out here again. First call at $880,000. How are we done? It's making money. 70. 70. 70. Second call at $880,000. Are we all done? If it helps, I'll take two and a half. <laughs> 82. 82. 82, it is not. Double 82. Just three. 83, we're rolling once. Yeah. 84. 84? Five? Yeah, 85. Eighty-six, seven, 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 eight, double eight, seven, eight hundred ninety-seven thousand. Think about it. No more real estate.com. No more open for inspection. No more real estate agents. You can have a brunch in bed this hour, next Saturday. Your call. $887,000 was here. Are we all done? Talk now. Are we all done? Yes. For the third and final opportunity, $887,000. All done, all finished, all silent. Be fair to them. Thanks for your patience. Sir. Just try to do the best thing for the owner. I can't hold this position for too long. At 887,000, I'll call it three times or three times only. After that, I'll knock it out. First call down, 887000 dollars Second call at $887,000. For the third and final opportunity at $887,000. All done. Ma'am.
All finished. To be fair to them, damn sir, you still with me? Oh no. One more. One more. Triple eight. A ninety. Good bit there. A ninety. What do you want to do? 890! I'll call it three times. The first call now, $890,000. Second call at 890. What do you want to do? For the third and final opportunity at $890,000, definitely out this time. Thank you for being here today. $890,000. All down, all finished. Anyone been holding back? And now's the time at $890,000. Unit 2 at 24 here on Highfield Avenue in Mulgrave. We are selling. Selling. Now, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the new owner. It is sold. Congratulations. Well bought. Commiserations to the underbidders. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for attending another successful Ray White auction. Enjoy your weekend.